Hello, welcome to your bonus unit. This is unit 25. You've already completed units 1 through 24 and I congratulate you on getting through that mountain of material. This unit is going to be focused on the fiddle tune back up and push. And the reason I've decided to do this bonus unit for you is because I realized that I taught you the hokum bowing through the Red Desert Fiddle course, but I didn't really give you a good tune that you could apply it to, except the Orange Blossom Special, and that's still a little bit advanced for this course. So I decided, you know what, back up and push has easier double stops for the left hand, and it uses the hokum bowing. So let's make it a bonus unit. And so here we are. It's going to be short and sweet. I promise to keep this as short as possible. Okay, let's get started. Back Up and Push <clears throat> started out as a uh, children's song called Rubber Dolly. And that was started appearing right around the 1890s or around 1900. Somewhere in there, the song Rubber Dolly uh, came into being. And from there, uh, a composer and violinist by the name of Jens Lamp. He was a Danish violinist and composer. He heard this very popular song and he devised a cool little fiddle tune um, using the rubber dolly melody as the basis for this fiddle tune. Well, the fiddle tune became very popular and launched Jens Lamp into ragtime fame. He was, I guess, the best known ragtime composer, second only to Scott Joplin, which surprises me because I honestly hadn't heard of Mr. Lamp before I started doing this research for you. But that's who wrote the tune that became Back Up and Push, but he didn't call it Back Up and Push. He wrote his tune around 1900, which tells me that Rubber Dolly had to be around for at least five or ten years before that. Jens Lamp wrote his fiddle tune around 1900. By 1902 it was wildly popular and he called it Creole Bells. So that became very very widely known and then by the 1920s it had started to morph and started to be subject to the fiddle tradition to the folk tradition and um, through the 1920s and 1930s it was a standard tune and it started to, to be known by other names such as back up and push and that's the one I learned it as was back up and push but it was also made popular in the 50s by a clapping song it was called the clapping song and there's some YouTube videos you can find where they do the little the the clapping choreography along with this tune and it also usually uses w words that combine the rubber dolly with the called out dance motions of the clapping gestures so that's the history of this tune it's not a really old tune but it's it's got some history behind it for this lesson, I want to just teach you the A part of back up and push. That's like the verse. And then the B part is like the chorus of this tune. And we're going to just separate them for the sake of different techniques needed for each part. This version is in the key of C, which means you'll have low twos a lot of the time. And if you were to play an F on the E string, it would be a low one, which not many of you have done yet, but this tune happens to be in a special form of C major. It's in C pentatonic, which means it's only got five notes in the scale. They knocked out a couple notes they didn't like, so it's missing its fourth scale degree and its seventh scale degree. So you're missing F and B. Watch. C, D, E, F. You won't find F in this tune, strangely enough. And then G, A, B. That's the seventh scale degree. So you also will not find a B in this tune. 
All right, so all you have, you don't have to worry about low ones. All you got to worry about is low twos. All right, low two on the D, the A, and the E string. All right, let me teach you the A part. Um, the bowings aren't important. You can, you can use more notes in a slur or fewer notes in a slur. It's harder to slur more notes in one bow. So I'm going to show you in this video a way to divide up the bowings so that you get more bows per note. And then in the music you're going to download, it will have the more advanced bowing. So then you'll kind of have access to both. All right, I changed the camera angle so that you could see my fingers and my tapes more easily. The first part of this back up and push starts with a pickup and it's a huge pickup. It's almost a whole bar. You're used to having one pickup or maybe two pickups, but this is like three fourths of a bar. So really you just come in right after beat one and it's a, like a syncopated entry. Listen to this. One, two, one. And it's going to do that over and over on every phrase and every mini phrase. Okay, so you'll have to get used to kind of feeling one. Ba -da -dum. It's a syncopated entrance. Okay, so let's learn that little first part. Starts with your fourth finger. Four, three, two, three, A. Listen one more time. One, two, one. Try it with me. One, two, one. One more time. Ready, set, go. Okay, that's like a miniature call and then it has a miniature response. Let's listen to what that sounds like. It, it's also a syncopated entrance. One. It's the same thing with just a little bit more noodly notes. Four, three, two, three, two, three. Or E, D, C, D, C, G. Okay, listen one more time. One. Try that with me. Ready, and one. Again, one. Okay, so let's glue that mini call and mini response together. Listen to, the, to that much. One. Okay, pretty easy. Let's slow it down and try it. And one. One more time. Ready, and one. Okay, so you could think of those as a call and response. You could. Or you could think of those two little pieces together as one big call. And then the next big chunk we learn is going to be a big response. So let's learn the next big response. That starts like this. One. Do you hear how that's kind of different? It's going up to the E string. It has separate bows in it. Watch again. One. Two, three, E, two. Try it with me. Ready, and one. Again, ready, and one. and see how we just landed on a down bow. So the next little part I'm going to teach you starts on an up bow. 
and it's a B flat, a nice blue note for this um, C pentatonic. Uh, listen, one. Okay, it's just down a blues scale. Um, listen again, one. Ready to try it? Get your up bow ready. Ready, and one. Yeah, that's a lot of notes on that up bow, but it's easier when you get it faster. Okay, let's try it one more time. Ready, remember it's a low four, which means it's a half step between three and four. Ready, set, go. That's probably the hardest measure of the A part, so practice that, okay? So here's that next big chunk. We have our big call, and we just learned our big response. Let me play the big response for you. Cool, huh? Let's try that together. Nice and slow. Ready, set, go. Okay, that's the first half of the A part. And really the second half is almost identical, so you almost know the entire A part. Let's try that whole first half together, okay? From the beginning, ya da 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 dum. Ready, set, one. tricky, but it's nothing that won't come with just a few minutes of practice. So I'll let you practice that on your own. We're going to learn the last half of the A part. Um, it's all the same. Listen. That's all exactly the same. Here's the different part. Okay, so it's just this little snippet. Okay, watch slowly. It goes, and one. Up, down. Try that. Ready, set, go. It's just a scale. Okay, watch again. One. Try it with me. Ready, set, one. Again, starting up bow. Ready, set, one. Okay, and then we just have a whole note. It's the same note for three half notes. It's the same note. I just like to decorate it with a little bit of bow rhythm. Okay, but it's really just a C that whole time. So, let's glue that last ending together with the, the long C. Listen. Can you try that with me? Slowly. Ready, set, go. Okay, and that puts us in position for the repeat. Okay, let's try the entire A part, and then we are done with lesson A. Okay, you ready? We'll go nice and slow, and then you practice it on your own. Okay, ready, set, go. One. 
that's it for the A part. Um, practice it a little bit because that's the only help you're going to get on the A part. The next lesson is going to focus on the B part, left hand. See you in lesson B.